This is a brief video overview of Moodle and how and why we use it here at Sefner Christian Academy. We will also show you how to access your student's Moodle account and what you would want to look for while in it. Moodle is what we call our learning management system. Essentially, this means that it's a virtual classroom space that can become an extension of a traditional classroom. In no way does it replace what's already being done in the classroom. Rather, it allows a digital storage place and a digital place for communication between students and teachers. Moodle allows learning and learning behaviors such as paper management and studying to happen anytime, any place, which is one of the biggest benefits in, in how we can extend the classroom through Moodle. It also allows students to function in a collaborative space that is not just social media related. This allows them to begin understanding the difference between using technology for social concerns versus using it for business concerns. We know that this is something that they're going to have to learn as they continue to move out into the workforce. Moodle is one of the largest and most widely used learning management systems. Over 7,000 universities and schools use it currently in over 200 countries and spans over 100 different languages. The benefit of this is that when your students get to college, they will use a learning management system of some sort. And so the more familiar they are with navigating it now, the less of a challenge the transition to college will be for them. Moodle is also a safe entry point for our students. It's a closed source, so outside individuals cannot access or contact your student through it. They learn how to use PDFs, send emails, make comments, retrieve documents, and all other skills that are necessary for college, but also for the workplace environment as things become increasingly more technological. It also promotes multimedia learning. Students in our classrooms today are drawn to learning with multiple medias. They prefer a combination of paper, pencil, audio, and visual stimulus when learning. Moodle allows us to post videos, to utilize discussion boards, and to implement tools that we would not be able to do without the ability to extend the classroom. You are able to access your student's Moodle account at any time. You would use their Moodle login information. So the first thing that is important for you to note is that the proper web address is not Moodle.com or Moodle.org. Our Moodle site is specifically hosted through RenWeb, and so therefore you have to go to sef-fl.moodle.renweb.com. And then you'll see the login page like this image here. From there, you need to have just two pieces of information, your student username and your student's password. Their username is typically the first initial of their first name and their last name, their password um, is totally up to them as far as what it is, but it always contains a capital, a lowercase, and a number. If you would like to have an easy way to remember this web address, go ahead and contact us. Um, you can contact MoodleHelp at scacrusaders.com, and we will mail home a small card that you can post on your refrigerator so that you have that web address and a spot for your student's username and password. Let's go ahead and take a look at Moodle and accessing it and the information that you would be interested as a parent to look at inside the Moodle site. You can use any web browser that you would like to access Moodle. So open Safari, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, any of those will work and type in the web address at the top until you see this login screen. Then enter your student's username and password and log in. When you log in, you will see the SCA crest. And if you scroll down, you will see all of the courses in which your student is enrolled in and um, that uses Moodle. Go ahead and click on the course that you would like to look at. In this case, I will click on English 2. 
And then as you get to your course page, you're going to see that it is organized by section or unit. Different courses will be organized different ways. Um, this is kind of by topic uh, with some additional information for different areas of English such as writing and grammar. Other courses will be organized by chapters, um, but this should be clearly identified so that you can kind of take a look at what you're um, needing to find. Also, the highlighted section is usually the current section that they're primarily working out of. So right now, uh, this class is using the poetry section the most. So I'm going to go ahead and click on poetry. And if my student had a, a poetry quiz or test, I can come in here and I can find that and review it and see how he or she did. Next to each item listed, there's little icons, and you'll kind of get used to what these mean, but this red one is a PDF. That's a common one. And here, this hand with a paper is something where a student had to turn something in because they're kind of pushing the paper in. And the paper with the check is always a quiz or a test, either one. So I'm going to click on this figurative language quiz, and I can see my student's grade. So it lists here 100. And then also I can click review. So if your child missed something, you will be go, able to go in and see the actual questions that were asked, what their answer was, and then it will also tell you what the correct answer is. So that you can uh, discuss that with your student or at least have a better idea of what it was that um, was not understood on that assessment. When you're done, you can just click finish review or you can hit back. Um, from here, sometimes the easiest way to get back to the course is to come up here where we see these things called breadcrumbs. It kind of shows where you've been, all your different clicks. So I'm going to go back to this poetry section. And I see one of these turn in assignments here. So maybe I want to check in on what my child turned in here. Perhaps uh, they got a notification in the grade book that it wasn't turned in or that it was late. But one of the greatest things about Moodle here is that as soon as your students submit something, they get this confirmation status where it says green, uh, green that it was submitted. And in this case, it's now graded. Um, it tells you when it was due, and it also tells you when it was submitted. So in this case, it was submitted a day late and 15 um, hours. If you would like to see the work that your child submitted, you can click on the link to the file submission. Here it is a PDF, and so I'm going to click on what the student did, and I can review the work that was turned in so that I have some additional information about that grade. All right, now that I'm done with this, I'm going to go back up to my breadcrumbs, and I'm going to go back to my list of classes by clicking Home. And I'd like to show you one more course. I'm going to go into chemistry here, and again, you're going to see that I can view this by chapter and looking at what chapter that they are in. And what's a little bit different here is there's no current highlight, so you may need to speak with your child about where they're at. Maybe they're close to transitioning. But you can go into any one of these sections and view the work. So this becomes kind of a snapshot into where they're at, what they've been given, what they've been doing. On some of your students' quizzes and tests, you'll notice that this says requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. If I click on this, it's going to ask you to download an installer. You're welcome to do that for your computer, or you can also use your student's iPad, and they can show you the Lockdown Browser where you can review the test there. This is a security feature that we are use on campus to help eliminate any temptation for um, so any kind of cheating or... Uh, sharing of answers to make sure that it's a fair assessment for everybody. So that is why there's that additional step for those assessment pieces. It's important to note that as you explore your student's Moodle page, there are some quizzes and some assignments that only allow one attempt. And so typically when you click on it, it might say attempt now. You can't go in and click it and preview it before your student is ready to take it because then it takes that one attempt and your student will have a zero if they weren't there to actually complete the work. So make sure that you aren't starting any activities accidentally that your child may have assigned um, 
And if you, but if there are any problems or issues with that, please make sure that you contact us for help. So if you need any help with Moodle, you have any questions or you would like to request those cards, please contact MoodleHelp at scacrusaders.com and someone will get back to you as soon as possible.